Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be reviewing a single pair of sneakers today. Um, I kind of wanted to switch things up, so I'm kind of going ahead and making this video on some sneaker releases that are actually at retail right now or under retail that I originally at one time would think that would go up in price. Um, but it's a crazy time in the sneaker market right now. Um, as you guys have probably seen, sneaker resale prices have kind of come down a little bit. A lot of recent releases are either, you know, at retail, maybe 10 or $20 over retail, or in some cases they're actually under retail, um, which I think is great. Um, a lot of these sneakers I think you can actually probably even find at your local sneaker stores. It's definitely a good thing to see. Um, I love being able to go into a sneaker store and see a lot of uh, GR stuff and a lot of Jordan Retro stuff just kind of sitting on the wall. Um, it definitely brings me back to like six or seven years um, when you were actually able to see Jordan Retros on the shelf and in some cases they were actually even on sale. So I'm kind of hoping to see that be the case this time around as well, um, but only time will tell um, as far as where uh, a lot of these sneakers will be. But the sneakers that I'm going to be showing you today are all under retail at the time of this video. Um, and in my opinion, I think these are all great shoes. So I'm kind of just going to go ahead and run and buy them one by one. Um, there's six pairs total at the time of the video. If I do happen to think of any other shoes at the time, I'll be sure to edit those as well. So these are in no particular order. Um, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and grab one by one and talk about them. Um, but this one here is probably the most recent release, the Air Jordan 5 green bean um so these i bought i had to buy because i had these back in middle school in 2006 um but at that point i had the gr version which didn't have the 3m upper it was just an all gray suede nonetheless i thought it was a great shoe and i still think it's a great shoe um this second time around and these are actually still sitting for retail um crazy to see not much hype behind them um, and I think there's a few retailers that actually have them under retail at the time of this video when I checked. So I'll be posting a link in the description box below for those retailers. Um, and I'll be doing the same thing for every sneaker in this video. Um, showing you guys where you can currently purchase these for under retail. So these actually came out at $200. Um, I had a coupon and a discount code at the time of this release. So I actually ended up paying I think $120 for these or $130. <clears throat> so I actually got them way under retail. Um, but like I said, these are actually under retail right now. Just an overall great shoe guys. One of my favorite releases this year so far, but let's keep it moving. Next pair we got here is the Clot Air Max 1. Now these came out last year and I'm actually shocked at how low the price has gone on these. I believe these came out for 140, 130 and you can get them on the resale market right now for either 80 or $90. Again, these kind of just plummeted, um, Nike. Nike, in my opinion, did a great job of bringing back a lot of the old Nike Air Max models. They had the Bacons, again, they had these, they had the undefeated Air Maxes, uh, there was a couple of other pairs, and for some reason they just didn't do well, not sure why, but in my opinion, this, but in my opinion, this was a great release alongside the Air Max 90 Bacon. Um, if you guys, like I said, want to pick these up, definitely a great shoe and not bad to get them under retail for over $40. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 7 in the Flint colorway. Now these were actually a big dud in a lot of people's eyes. And the reason behind that is the gray suede, as you guys know, isn't true to the original that came out in 2006. And a lot of people were disappointed in that. And that's, I think, one of the reasons, if not the main reason why this sneaker didn't do well. Um, but overall, I thought it was a great shoe. I love the seven color blocking where there's a different um, tone along the upper and the toe box. And then you got kind of separates it towards the back, um, like the Bordeaux 7. I love that style color blocking. Um, and so I went ahead and picked these up. Now, when I originally purchased these after release, I think I ended up paying like 120, 130, way under retail. Um, I still I still think they're around that price right now. I honestly forgot to check before I looked at this video, um, but I know they're definitely under retail. Just an overall great shoe in my opinion. Big sleeper, um, and if you guys are interested in these, like I said, under retail, K 
can't go wrong with this retro. Next up, we got the undefeated Air Max 97. Just an overall great shoe in my opinion. I'm a sucker for olive green sneakers, so when I saw these coming out, I definitely had to buy them. These released late 2020, I believe, and I actually ended up paying retail for these, thinking that they would only go up. Um, unfortunately, you could actually get these for under retail, way under retail. And then there's the black and yellow version that came alongside these. These are, those are even less. Those are like dirt cheap. Last time I checked, they were like under $100. Um, that's another great colorway in my opinion. It's a new colorway, but I actually might go ahead and pick those up. I went ahead and got the OG colorway. Like I said, olive green sneakers, one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, these are way under retail right now. I'm kind of mad that I didn't wait, but I didn't know where the resale was going to go on these, and so I went ahead and took the chance and got them at retail. Um, not mad, just an, not mad because it is a great shoe overall, but I definitely love to save money whenever I can. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in these, great shoe. So this shoe here, the Kith Nike Air Force One um, NYX colorway. This actually, this shoe I'm actually shocked is where it is in terms of resale price. Um, so I originally had the white version and those actually ended up doing pretty well to the point where I just sold them because it wasn't a shoe that I thought I really needed at the time um, and the resale was not bad so I just went ahead and moved on from them. This pair here however, um, currently right now as it stands, they're under $100. Um, you can actually buy these for I think $80 to $90 on the secondary market, which again, isn't a bad price at all. This particular Air Force One collab has the old um, Air Force One mold. It definitely has, it has the thicker inside cushioning, which I love. The shape of the shoe is just great. Again, it has that old tooling. Um, so I'm not sure why people didn't really like this shoe. Um, I love it. I think it's actually better than the white one. You got that blue swoosh on the side. And then you got the orange swoosh on the medial side. Um, overall, great shoe, guys. One that I didn't expect to kind of plummet in terms of resale price, but one that I think is definitely a great shoe for the price that it's at right now. And last but not least, we got the undefeated Nike Air Force One. I got five on it. It's part of that whole pack that came out last summer. Um, and this one, actually, I was surprised didn't do that well. When I first saw pictures of this shoe, I definitely loved it. Loved like that crocodile skin upper. Um, this like nylon material on the toe box and the kind of off-white midsole. Um, I thought that these would do well. Unfortunately, they didn't. Um, Retail on these was 130, 140, whereas now I think they're literally at like 80 or 90 dollars. Could be less, could be 70 if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. Um, one of the reasons why I went ahead and picked these up. Love to see shoes that are almost at like half price, um, and I love to see. <clears throat> I love being patient on a pair of sneakers, and then kind of being able to find that great deal. Um, this was definitely one of them. Like I said saving money and being able to buy the shoes that you want was definitely always a great feeling um, and I kind of felt like that on this particular pair um, but yeah just a big sleeper guys and I think it's definitely a great shoe in my opinion and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys like I said just wanted to kind of share with you um, some of the sneakers that are currently out on the secondary market for under retail like I said it's definitely great to find shoes that you love and be able to save money at the same time um, let me know if you guys have any other shoes that you guys are suggesting or know of that are currently under retail right now. Um, so we can share that info in the comment box below. But like always guys, thanks for the support. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.